So Jesse Melamed, been a while since I've done one of these. But as I said, I was gonna be switching bikes partway through this season, so I just got this drive and I figured I should do a bike check on this before I get rid of it. Uh, just heading out for a ride, as you can see, so quick and dirty bike check. Uh, we got the Canyon Spectral CFR 29. I'm running 29 wheels front and back because I feel like, for me, like the efficiency of that over the course of Enduro is really good. Come stock is a 150. Uh, we have overstroked this to a 160 to make it more uh, EDR capable, but uh, you shouldn't do that because I think voids the warranty probably, and I definitely noticed under full bottom out with those mud, I was getting some, uh, some rubbing on the back here. Uh, but for me, that kind of helped just kind of eat got a bit more travel on this. I raced the first two rounds with a 160 mil in the front just because I really like the Geo. Um, everything about it kind of fit me well. It's a size small. Should have mentioned that size small, so I think the reach is 430, 64 degree head angle. Um, it allows me to really just maneuver the bike, and the 160 mil, like the RockShox, has just been great for the, the damping that it provides. I really didn't feel like I had too little travel, like I wasn't blowing through travel or anything, so that's been great. That's the RockShox Zeb, mostly stock in there, probably not completely stock, but yeah, so 170 up front, 160 up back. Uh, as you probably saw, I was riding an AirShock in Tasmania for Medina and definitely Derby just because I thought that way more pumping, smoother um, and I just I wanted more power to the pedals on those on those tracks so that was really good and now obviously on the coil I tested this over the winter when I was in uh, in Nice with the team and I think for the rough stuff it really settles the bike down um, well so back home at Squamish I've got to race this weekend on the coil because I just think like I said it suits my style of like I need to be calm down, I get enough like pop and things out of things, so that's pretty good. Uh, and now actually I've gone to a 170 on the fork, so that I did for the Pembiander last weekend, which was steep, fast, and to get ready for the drive, which has more travel, I wanted to basically get a head start on setting up a 170 mil fork and not just go from a 160 and have to figure out a new bike plus the travel, so I went to a 170 air shaft on that. I ended up dropping my pressure just over five PSI, but I added some volume spacers. So I think right now I'm at 50 PSI, three volume spacers, uh, click of high speed compression from open, but from close it's about four, I think. Uh, low speed is like, I'm running in the first, around the first quarter of close to open. I kind of just vary around that. Same with the rebound. Um, so that's that's pretty much, I've been pretty happy with that. And the coil, I think 275 pound spring, so that's pretty light, but I'm kind of a light guy. And this one's really cool, I have the damping, like the high speed compression almost uh, fully closed. So very different from the front to the back, but the suppleness of the coil with the added damping on that is like really cool because I find I'm not just blowing through my travel and I have a lot of good mid-stroke support, so that's been really cool. Depending on the track, I'll, I'll adjust my HBO one or two because uh, I would just I want to be able to use full travel. I know when I hit it and I don't want the HBO to kind of like kick in too much. Rebound, pretty much fully open because I just, again, it's soft, it's fast, it's similar to what I ran previously. So that's been really cool. Uh, so RockShox, suspension front and back, and obviously got this new transmission. Uh, I picked a very good time to switch because this stuff is like kind of kind of game changing. It's like really changed the way that I, I shift and I view mainly like climbing and just meandering trails. I'll just shift way more and like when I want, when I need it. I'm not thinking about like timing it or anything. I just, if I want to be in an easier gear, I am. And if I want to be in a harder gear, I just shift. I don't have to change my pedal stroke. I just do it. So that's been amazing. Um, I'm running 32 tooth up front with the 1052 up back and I'm running these uh, XR cranks just because I think they look sick uh, just with the kind of the, the shine there. Normally running silver crank brothers pedals but these are the Mallet E's. Uh, E13 guide here. Um, brakes I can't talk about. Uh, shifter pods really cool there like I just Love the symmetry of both using the same shifter pod for my dropper post and my shifters. Um, so those have been really cool. You have the dropper post remote. Um, I have this 170 mil dropper, which obviously looks a little bit weird. Everyone thought it was like some new dropper, but 
Uh, RockShox just made some custom seat clamps that allowed me to run my seat tilted forward so I could switch the whole apparatus around because uh, I really wanted the longer drop but I was, I was getting some tire buzz. So um, this allows me to run a 170 mil dropper and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. So that was really cool. I've been trying a bunch of different Ergon saddles. This is the SR Man Team. Got carbon rails, but mainly just trying to find one that suits my sit bones really well. Uh, I was on like the e, the Endura version before, um, and that one was good, but just trying this one out. Uh, we've got some new Ergon grips that we're trying out. Won't go too close on those because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that either. I'm running hand guards. Uh, I've broken my pinkies too many times to count and I clip trees all the time because I run my hands red on the edge of the bars. So uh, I run the hand guards and yeah. I, I don't know if I love the look, but these are the best ones for sure that I have found. So those are the Santec guards. We're running the Canyon G5 cockpit, which has been pretty great. 31.8 clamping, 40 mil stem. We've got a 40 mil rouse on the bars. So plus the stack height, like I run the front end pretty high. Um, cut down to 720. So narrow bars, but I've kept that from my old bike. Uh, wheels. I did some testing a little bit ago and uh, I was running the 511s and those things are like bomb proof. I couldn't believe it. I spent like a whole winter on one set of wheels and they were pretty much faultless. So that was really sweet, but I thought that, oh, like if they last that long, maybe we can get a little bit more compliance out of the 471s. And I know the downhill guys are most of them are running the 471s and I've heard various reasons about that. So I wanted to test that and I've been on them for a little while now. and. Uh, they're pretty solid like the, the DT Swiss wheels kind of set like set the games lucky to be still rolling on Max's tires so same combo I've pretty much been running for for years and uh, Max's DHR2 in the back switch from double down to DH casing depending on the tracks as a guy up front 2.5 2.5 um, those have just been yeah those have been great same with uh, inserts I'll run those course dependent got a Morton bottle in here uh, been on their product all year now and I used to buy it actually and now I, I get to just have boxes of it and that's been really sweet. I, I think it's great stuff. We have to consume so many calories so you get they got like really good powders so I, I drink a lot of my calories and then great gels and bars so that's been pretty good. Quick and dirty bike check. Uh, like I said I think the biggest things of why I chose a Spectral for Tasmania was uh, I'd been to Derby before I knew it was like pretty is super tech but not like high speed gnarly rough terrain so i wanted a more nin nimble like agile bike and i think the spectral really suited that medina was way more technical than i was expecting so that one i was maybe a bit undergunned but for derby it was great and obviously rebounded there to a podium so i was really stoked on that and that yeah, this bike just super fun like now i've been riding in squamish for the last month and it's rad like it just it performs well over such a such a large terrain so i've been stoked on this bike but we're switching to this drive and equally stoked for that i rode that one uh, last fall uh before i made the switch and the suspension on that is something that i really walked away from thinking that it was like really good so i'm super curious to get on that and uh fine-tune that suspension use a shape shifter uh, have a little bit more travel and that'll be uh i think the weapon for for europe so yeah thanks for tuning in uh hopefully that covered all of it if not Comment down below any questions you have and uh, see you on the trails. Peace.